welcome to Webisode 3 in our 12-show series for the TTSSF Project Car Buildup for Fortitude.com. In our last webisode, we got you up to speed on the engine and interior mods of this project car. This week, we'll get you inside the Blue Beast to see the custom-mounted methanol injection kit and a brake pad upgrade. In the A3, I installed the AM methanol kit, and based on my findings with regards to horsepower and miles per gallon, I vowed to run this terribly inexpensive mod in all of my future cars. Trunk space in the TTS is at a premium, so I needed to devise a plan to keep the reservoir in a remote spot that allowed ease of access and doesn't impede on my storage in this car. The answer after removing that gigantic OEM airbox was fairly obvious. So I got down to designing a custom bracket and brought this cardboard template to my old friend Alan Biscard of Artist Blacksmith to create a one-off piece for this car. We used lightweight aluminum sheet metal and set holes in the area just above the OEM airbox mounting points. After adjusting the height of a set of collar spacers, we had a nice level piece. My goal here is to keep the engine bay looking clean, so I had Alan make up a hood piece that conceals the AM pump. This entire bracket piece is attached with acorn nuts and can be unbolted and removed in under five minutes. Methanol injection works very well on most turbocharged and supercharged engines, and it serves two major purposes. It cools and condenses the intake charge by 60 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, which effectively alters the way in which the fuel is burned to mimic something more like 100 octane racing fuel. Additionally, it takes the potency of 91 octane pump gas and makes it behave more like 116 octane race gas. Simply put, it throws down big power gains for the money and is safe for the car. I discovered that I went up 7 horsepower, which is marginal, but torque went up 12 pounds. Boost is more in the 17 to 20 pound range, and the best part of it all is that my fuel average went up 3 to 4 miles per gallon. That alone is reason enough to do this mod. Audi is well known for having great engineering and fantastic quality, so you gotta wonder why in the world they'd use those messy OEM brake pads. Another lesson I learned from my experience with my previous Audi was the quality of the Hawk ceramic brake pads. They eliminate over 50% of the brake dust that's output from the stock pads. They provide better stopping power, OEM pedal feel, and no side effects. This is another no-brainer. Install was a snap and anyone with basic mechanical knowledge should be able to perform the task of swapping them out. Sean and I also switched out the brake lines to these new speed stainless steel lines, which are basically bulletproof. This is a great mod to pull out at the same time as a brake pad swap, and as you've seen from my previous webisodes, I'm pretty big on strengthening any component that feels the effects of spirited driving. Remember, in a DSG car, the brake is the second most important pedal. Tune into the next webisode airing here on Fortitude in two weeks, where we'll be heading down south to the LA area to visit New Speed and partake in their special brand of suspension fine tuning. <laughs>